So in anticipation for the Switch and Breath of the Wild, which I am very hyped for, I'm going to play through all the Zelda games that I have. Unfortunately, I don't have all Zelda games, and most of the ones I have are console ones, so that's fortunate because the console Zeldas are always really good. Though personally, my favorite growing up was Link's Awakening on the Game Boy. But the first Zelda game I chose to go through was A Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo. Unfortunately, I don't have a Super Nintendo console anymore. Uh, I sold the one I had when I was a kid, uh, way back when, but uh, I have a Retron uh, now that plays uh, NES and Super NES games, and fortunately it does work uh, well enough. And I have this uh, big CRT here that um, actually does emit the feeling of, of playing a game when I was a little kid. So uh, it was very fun going through this. I had never gone through A Link to the Past before. I had it on the Game Boy Advance, the, the port that they did of that, but I never really got far in it. But now that I've actually beaten it and uh, pretty much did a completionist run of it, I can see why this game is a lot of Zelda fans' favorites. And I can see why a lot of people prefer it to Ocarina of Time, because there are a lot of Zelda staples that started with this game. And that Ocarina of Time does again, just in 3D. But I really did enjoy myself with this game, and the first three dungeons are pretty easy, pretty uh, easy to get through, but then when you get to the Dark World dungeons, they're uh, a lot harder. Especially the last few, they were pretty tricky. Like I said, I was doing a completionist run, so I was using a guide, but I was only using the guide for stuff that was in the overworld. I only went to it when I was I knew I was like completely stuck in a dungeon. And funny enough, I did not play The Link to the Past uh, before I played, um, where is it? Uh, here it is. Yeah, before I played uh, Link Between Worlds, because I got this a couple years ago and went through it, and um, yeah, I can see how A Link to the Past is like pretty much the same overworld. And I love the different items that you get. There's a whole lot of items in here that are like Zelda staples, and some that uh, come back sometimes, but not often. I really like the screen-clearing magic spells that you can cast. It's really cool. And the final fight with Ganon is pretty tough, until I learned that you can actually uh, light the torches to where the right one will stay lit. So I did that, and it became a lot easier. But still, he was tough. You just need to know when to move. So yeah, it's a very fun Zelda, a uh, really good overworld, I love the Dark World theme, it introduced a lot of staples in the Zelda franchise, and I'm glad I finally sat down to play this one because I've been putting it off for years. So, thoughts on A Link to the Past? If you've played it, or if it's one of your favorite Super Nintendo games, tell me about your experience down in the comments. Then next time, I'll move on to Ocarina of Time, which I'm a lot more familiar with, though I've never actually beaten. Fun fact. So I'll see you in the next Zelda vlog in about a week or so. Bye. Getting a bit used to winter, we're like soldiers in the middle of a campaign, growing hardened to discomfort and better